So how do you wash your boat after six days of hard fishing? <laughs> and 20 knot winds. And salt spray and dead shrimp, and pogey juice, crushed potato chips, spilled sodas, spilled Gatorade. How do you clean your boat? Well, that's how I cleaned my boat, and it really deserved it. The Jetty Wolf really deserved it. Now I should be doing, since I'm up here, it's 13th birthday video. But I am going to hold that off for a little while because... Like I said, I just got done six days in a row, and a couple more than one was absolutely brutal. Due east winds, 20 to 25, falling tide, new moon, rising tide. If you fish around here, then you probably know what I mean air show going on, tournament going on, flounder tournament going on, uh, dredging, crew boats running around, ships going by throwing wakes, tugboats with barges doing donuts right outside, right next to where you're fishing for bull reds. Yeah, it's just a party, folks. So, I'm a little beat to a pulp. Don't... After all that fishing, I just don't sleep well. Uh, I probably, you know, pass out about 8.30. But then by 2.30, 3 o'clock, I'm wide awake drinking coffee. And then I have something to eat. This is this morning, or late last night, or whatever you want to call it. Then, after I have some breakfast, which is a rarity, I fall asleep in the Lazy Boy watching YouTube for about two hours and then guess what it's finally light time to start some work get some work done I just wanted to know how do you wash your boat with a nice fluffy brush bucket of boat wash soap some good old ore pine the smell of the main woods is that how you wash your boat or do you wash it at all or are you in fresh water and you think that's the cure-all to everything? Don't have to wash my engine out. I run fresh water. Just dip some lake water and, you know, spread that around. Yeah, well, if you're in the south, we get stuff called mold, algae, all kinds of good grimy crap all over your boat. I ran out of oxygen tanks. There you go. There's my oxygen tanks down there. If you can see them. Let's see, yeah, right here. And right there. Got this new regulator. And it doesn't go down far enough to like micro bubbles. It's like a powerful stream, so I kind of bought the wrong one. I'm using that for fin fish, bait fish, I guess, instead. Do the top, you know, everything gets covered in salt. There's places that get covered in salt that you don't even know get covered in salt, like the crack of your butt after you're out there for, you know, eight hours. <laughs> so uh, what I wanted to do is I wanted to, since I wanted to do the 13th birthday video, and I get pretty busy here at the end of this week too, but just to take note, if there's something in particular 
that my subscribers, regular viewers, commentors want to know about when you get a boat built. Put it in the comments below of this video. And what I'll do is I'll try to read those comments when I do the other video, the 13th birthday one. Which by then it'll be 13 and a half, who knows. So this is just a shorty. But leave your comments below. Maybe I can jot them down. All right. Um, it's a weekend. When is the best time to upload videos? Because here we are, out busting those damn red basses' butts. Me and the Traveler Bob for two days straight. And I did a video of one day. And that video didn't get no views. I mean, I even changed the title. You know, I don't know. As I said, you want to be highly disappointed, start a YouTube channel. Because I just went and got some more non-ethanol gas, and I was coming home from the gas station, and I was thinking about everybody who talks about being demonetized. Well, my bikini girl video out taking them shark fishing was monetized for, I don't know, two years. Then all of a sudden, they demonetized it. Do you realize what's actually on YouTube? There's girls practically naked, just so you know, that are trying on thong bikinis and stuff like that. One even strips in the middle of a road. I happen to see this. And uh, then blocks it and then says, be a Patreon so you could see more. And then they go and they block, they demonetize two girls catching sharks. And I had to submit that. Physically submit that video. Uh, to have it re-monetized. So who knows, I don't go and sit and watch every video to make sure it's monetized or not. When you got 668 videos or whatever. So they demonetized that so I lost revenue on that one. Then my first Flazol video of cleaning sheep's head at a tournament, sheep's head tournament, that got demonetized for about a week or two, and I had to ask everybody to give it a thousand views because they would not monetize it until it had a thousand views. It's cleaning fish. Is that how you think out there in Silicon Valley, people? Is that how you think? Fish comes on a little styrofoam thing wrapped in, in uh, cellophane? No, they get cleaned. Good God, they demonetized that video. So here I am, even on a little old fishing guide, how-to engine maintenance, fishing, catching fish in Northeast Florida YouTube channel for the last 10 years. And I've had two videos demonetized. And I've had... 15 or 20 videos stolen and put on somebody else's China page, China channel of, yeah, like the girl in the bikinis. And somebody has to let me know that that video is now on another channel with running ads and probably being monetized. And I have to turn them in. So, yeah, go ahead, start a YouTube channel and you'll be mighty disappointed. But... All right, this one's already, what, 10 minutes? So leave your comments below. If you've got any particular boat owner, boat building, going and getting an aluminum boat built, questions, and I'll try to answer them. And anything else in particular. Keep it on topic, please. If you're going to even bother. I have to beg people for comments. I have to beg them for likes. And I'm just not a begging kind of guy, as they do in every other video on YouTube. They beg you to death. Beg, beg, beg. Please, please, please share. Oh, please, please. <sighs> I'm, I'm figuring if you're just not that interested, then you're not that interested. I actually had one video that a guy pointed out. He goes, you know, 25% of this video, of all of your likes and dislikes are 20% or something on this video or dislikes and I'm talking about a rod really 
<laughs> I guess if you dislike it, it's just as good as liking it. I don't know. I don't know. I always said thumbs up. I was corrected. It's like. I don't know. I'm not into this social credit score thing because you know why? There's a lot of people that disappoint me and I don't. I'd be, I'd be credit score thumbs downing, disliking, credit scoring them a ton. But I don't, because they're people who put forth the effort. It's the people who don't put forth no effort. And then they give you a stupid comment or give you a, a thumbs down dislike or whatever. I'm not in all that BS. I'm in the business of fishing, taking people fishing. That's really the only thing that I really care about when it comes to that. And boy, I'll tell you, whoo, this week. Two days were great. Probably three or four were really bad. And it was all weather. All right, hey, give it a like, and uh, how do you wash your boat? See you on the next one. My GPS and my frog togs on. I got every kind of bait a man might need. Well, there's a little rain, but I don't care. I'm like a boy scout, always prepared to handle just about anything. Some folks call me crazy, some tell me get a life. To me, there's nothing better than to spend all of my That's where I get my kicks out on the water Hey, it's my residence Don't want to waste my time or a single dime On something high and dry I love stalking fish and ripping lips Yeah, I love to spend my life out on the water I'm feeling down, I get up, attach the boat to my old truck Then I tow it down to my favorite lake A big rooster tail, then I'm there My medicine's the Kool-Aid air And it's guaranteed to cure most anything Some folks never get it, the ones that do get hooked if I could, I'd show them all how life can be so good out on the water. Cause that's where I get my kids out on the water. Hey, it's my residence. Don't want to waste my time or a single dime on something high and dry. I love stalking fish and ripping lips. Yeah, I love to spend my life out on Stalking fish and ripping lips, yeah, I love to spend my life out.